how new NBA 2K24 gameplay features improve newcomer experience with the link up top if you guys care enough. If not, just trust me, okay? So anyway, we have, are there any additional gameplay nuances that players might not notice at first? And Mike Wang said, we haven't really announced much of it yet, but the badge game is very nuanced this year. Let's put it this way. The way you play on the court is going to reflect how your badges get shaped and how your player looks at the end of the day. So when you do something over and over again, let's say you like to do spin jumpers, you're going to see your ability as a spin jumper player improves steadily over time and so you're going to find that just the way you play the game what you like to do on the court is going to improve you're going to kind of build your player in that aspect so i'm excited about that i'm excited that we have a new feature in the game where you can mold your player on the fly as you play games going to be really interesting to see how that turns out another nuanced thing a very nuanced thing is probably the play calling stuff because that's something blah 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 so the badge system guys and we have a lot more news on 2k 24 gameplay okay i want to go ahead and explain for some people because most people get it that the title is 2k24 gameplay because we're talking about 2k24 gameplay confirmed news and we got a lot in here so it might not be the gameplay you wanted to see but it is 2k24 gameplay all right anyway the 2K17 badge system, 2K16, that's what I'm seeing from this right here. You're going to be able to play how you want to get the badge. Like, to get, you know, Deadeye, you're going to have to shoot contested mid-ranges or contested three-pointers, things like that. And I'm kind of scared for it, okay? But we'll talk about that uh, later on because we have way too much to just stop and talk for two minutes for each thing. By the way... The gameplay you're seeing, I'm on a 6 foot 11 Kevin Durant build. Tonic's on a 7 footer. We got no, or I have quick drops on, but you're not going to be seeing a lot of them. Versus two goat tiers. We're not doing LeBron step backs, nothing like that. Pure hoops. Anyway, enjoy that. So the next one is one of the biggest things that the community at large nope really wanted to see improved was paint defense that's one thing that i think we really stepped into this year how can we improve it on different levels and different systems in our game so the body up that's basically our on ball defense and the collisions that happen when you body up the ball handler that system got blown out especially under the basket around the rim that contact there the post contact and the paint shots especially being able to put a body on a shooter in the paint was a big aspect of improving paint defense Scoring in the paint feels correct, and scoring in the perimeter feels correct. You get the right results when you take the right shots, or if you're getting guarded and you're taking bad shots, you get the results you expect. So those are the kinds of things we're also always trying to improve on year after year. So, by the way, I don't know if I said this. This is from Mike Wang answering questions in a detailed blog, which I'm guessing is going to be posted by 2K at some point, but it came out earlier. So, I'm giving you the news from the blog. Hopefully, when the blog comes out, there's even more information. Anyway in there rookie difficulty was announced which i believe will be in my career as well so rookie difficulty is finally back for those of you that care i don't really care that much except for the badges that are super hard to get or maybe that is going to be the badge grinding method because maybe hall of fame and rookie is the same like it's similar to 2k17 is what it's sounding like right so to do a dead eye contested shot you would probably be more likely able to do it on rookie to get your badge faster i don't know man we'll see bro anyway our amazing or they are amazing they're really explosive yeah just a really tight handle just like the real life player curry too he's actually a guy we had come and do mocap so he did all his moves for us already but we got even more this year with pro play and they're pretty impressive i know all the kids love curry so they're going to like the improvements that they're going to see in him this year too so I'm really excited for the 2K24, and you just see me airball, okay? That's bad, but I tried a crazy shot. Anyway, I'm excited for the pro play. However, there is another thing that I'm scared about with pro play, which we'll get into in a second. So in the article, Mike Wang said that you could play the game with two or three buttons on rookie difficulty. In my career, Park is once again on Hall of Fame difficulty, or maybe it wasn't. I think it was on Hall of Fame last year, or, or it was on Superstar. But yeah, Park is going to be a higher difficulty this year. And guys... We have a lot to talk about. It doesn't just stop there. So Mike Wang tweeted out on Twitter and he said, we're having some internal debate on how much losing adrenaline should penalize you on defense. Concerns are the numbers below are too harsh. 5% and 10% for the first two bars were suggested. Thoughts? And if you didn't see before, Mike Wang is talking about how the adrenaline bars initially, from what he said was first bar, you lose 20%, uh, a nerf to like your steal and block rating, second bar 40%. So I think that the best option is to really just meet them in the middle because I'm guessing there's so many people over there at 2k and you know they're just not agreeing on this so just meet them in the middle you know what I'm saying I don't think it's that big of a deal but 
we have a lot of gameplay information guys real quick though i do want to talk about what we just seen okay because i feel like this is extreme look at that move by the way oh my gosh this is extremely important i mean if you guys are subscribed if you're not you know hit that subscribe button listen to me when i say this from what i'm hearing this is very very important this badge system okay i am extremely concerned about it okay extremely concerned about what i'm hearing now i don't want to say it's trash it's bad blah blah because i haven't seen it right i haven't seen it but from what i'm getting this is a 2k17 2k16 builder type uh badge system which back in the day this was cool you know we were kids and it was fun to grind in my career we don't want to do that anymore. Most of us don't want to do that anymore, okay? Most of us are just watching this video. I know there's people that just play my career, things like that. You guys still enjoy my career. As a kid, I enjoyed my career. I don't really enjoy it anymore, right? I feel like most of us share that opinion. I don't want to be forced to play my career. I do not want to be forced to sit there and play my career and do 150 limitless range shots until I get limitless range, all right? I would rather play real human beings and get that. Now, the next thing I'm scared of is from what they're saying, it seems like you're gonna like maybe even lose your badges, okay? Maybe even like you're, they're, uh, man, this is rough, guys. I'm trying to like get it out and explain it to you guys from what I'm seeing. It seems like you're gonna lose your badges from what, I, like they haven't exactly said this, but say you don't do a contact dunk for five games and you start losing posterizer because they're saying you're getting your badges based on how you play, which means to me, it's gonna be some sort of fluctuating system, right? I'm scared for it. Very, very scared for that. Anyway, Mike Wing went to Twitter and someone asked him. Haven't seen anyone bring this up, so I just thought that I'd ask or Euro dunks and hop dunks in the game. He said yes. So once again, finesse finishing around the rim, like has been it's been talked about many times, is going to be huge. Who knows if it's actually going to be huge? You know, we have to see when the game comes out. <sighs> Man, guys, I'm I'm genuinely concerned about this badge system on 2k24 okay we haven't heard about the badges i don't know about the badges but the way you earn them the way you keep them whatever it is is very concerning okay anyway the next one is if it's green or miss in the park which we already know and wreck do shooting badges increase the green window or something because if it increases percent made it wouldn't matter unless it's green since whites won't go in mike said shooting badges don't impact percents like they used to now they either modify shooting attributes shot window sizes or both okay i had the burp right there i'm sorry burp plug in the comment section down below but this is huge if you're not understanding it i barely understand it okay so let's go through two people talking about it all right so someone said not at all before even if you timed perfectly you'd miss sometimes it's pure green windows so all that changes is the size of the green window as opposed to the chance of making a well-timed shot going up now 2k labs who if you guys don't know about 2k labs You'll be hearing a lot about it this year from me because I love 2K Labs. They're doing really good. They've been doing good for a while. Anyway, they said, definitely curious how this works. Green windows have to be way smaller now. He said, why would they have to be? And they said, before they were massive, but the edges of the window still had a low chance to green due to RNG. If everything, which is random number generator, by the way, if you guys don't know, uh, which is horrible for the game, like the shot timings. Like I told you guys, I told you the shot timings is RNG. A real skill gap is to lower the green window. But, you know, that's, I don't think they're going to do that. If everything in the green window has a 100% make rate, shooting would be way too easy with the same size windows as past games. So, basically, this goes back to what Mike Wing was saying, that, you know, you're going to be able to green everything in the game. Everything. Except for, I think he said, 100% contested shots. So, what I'm seeing, bro, is I'm expecting this to be a realistic basketball game. And I told you guys how I feel about that. There's good things about realistic basketball there's bad things about realistic basketball in a video game so let me explain in 2k this is not real basketball okay it's a simulation of real basketball therefore the skill gap is where you know you are able to dribble and get open and then once you get open you know that you're open then you time your shot correctly if we go towards realistic basketball in that way where you're able to make a Kevin Durant build and shoot 50% greens and, you know, consistently just because you timed it right, I, I just don't think that, I don't think that's good for the skill gap. I really don't think that that's good for the skill gap. Yeah, 
you timed your shot correctly but the point of you know skill gap in 2k that's been like this for years is the fact that you have to get open you have to realize that you're open you have to shoot when you're open you have to pass when the person presses you know you can't just shoot an 80 percent contestant and be like all right well i'm i'm steph curry so it doesn't matter because steph curry does this in real life like i'm worried okay I'm worried. This is more of a like worried badge video. I've been excited for a lot of the news lately and then the season pass came and that's been rough and now I'm just worried. I'm not saying it's bad because I haven't seen it, but I'm worried, okay? Simple plays like this, why I love hoops. Dazar, who's a 2K developer, said in 24, they did work on getting some air under the Y button pass, which is triangle on PlayStation, if you guys don't know. So I have had plays where I see the big running and press Y over the defense for the transition score. Felt incredible. Now, this is a big topic that is small but big. So we're going to talk about this because LD2K also responded to something similar to this. Anyway, Dazar followed that up with another question. Thank goodness he said in implementation. It's a real problem for our engineers I tell y'all all the time a lot of these issues are technical It's not because that is how we think it should work with what we have Sometimes it's just the best we can do passing is a whole monster fam. So I really Really like that Dazar, who's been doing this for many, many years. If you guys are newer to 2K, even in the last like five years, okay, he's been posting this stuff for like 20 years. It's insane. He's the head of Sim Nation, if you guys uh, have heard of Sim Nation, but he's also a 2K developer who tries to explain why the game is the way the game is, basically, you know what the technologies are he's the one that brought up if you guys have heard me talk about how technologies that they introduce take a three-year span which we will talk about maybe in this video or the next video uh i don't know okay but it's important that he explains these things so we understand it more anyway uh wolf who works for 2k he was a free, uh, former 2k league player now he works at 2k as a developer he said jim for all my playmakers try not to default a ax pass all the time utilize the y lob pass and b bounce pass in suitable situations for 2k24 so that's gonna be really interesting to see because the other day i did a y pass where it made sense and i ended up basically being punished for it because the y pass yeah it threw it over the defender but I probably had a better chance of just throwing it and then, you know, risking if the defender was going to steal or not. Because by the time my, you know, teammate caught the ball, the other defender was already there. Okay, so anyway, we have some more important things to talk about where I said LD2K was commenting on this whole situation with the passing. Because if you guys don't know, it's bad, okay? It's bad when you are doing an inbounds pass in any sort of competitive or if you guys have played rec and you're getting double pressed, you know. They're rough. So anyway, he said, can say this. The creators had a good in-depth and long discussion about the inbounding and quote-unquote wraparound pass mechanics that are automated at the 24 gameplay session. So as someone that plays competitive throughout the year, you guys know I play everything. Park, rec, stage, pro-am. I was on one of the top pro-am teams this year on Xbox, the C men. Yes, the C men. But if you guys play pro you know what I'm talking about. I was a backup shooting guard because I definitely don't have enough time to be a main shooting guard. If you play pro am man and you're sweating, sweating, if you want to be a top team, you have to play every single day. But I understand that, you know, as a shooting guard, bringing the ball to the court, double presses, the inbounds, it's rough, bro. It's really rough. You can lose the ball before you've even dribbled. That's an issue. You know what I'm saying? The passing around people is an issue that needs to be looked at because you're not going to be losing the ball in the NBA many, many times when you haven't even dribbled yet, okay? So there's lots of inbound stuff that I really hope is fixed. Now, Ty Debo said, what about bailout? He's a uh, former NBA, uh, my team, $250,000 tournament winner, just in case you guys know. Uh, anyway, Chris Manning said, yes, among many, many other topics, I stayed and listened to it all and they checked all the boxes. So that's important, bro. That's important to see what we're going to see. Like, is it actually going to be what we think? If even half of this is right, then I think 2K24 is gonna be better than 23, especially with the rookie to legend if their rewards are good. But like I said, guys, I am very concerned about these badges. Very, very, from what I'm reading, it sounds like 2K is going to do an advanced 2K17 badge system. Now, you guys might be jumping up and down. Oh, I think this is one of the things that is nostalgia, okay? It's one of those things. The older games weren't perfect. Yet, Yes, they were good. You know what I'm saying? They were definitely good 2Ks, but they weren't perfect. And I think that it's just a really, really pastime thing, all right? I don't think it's something to celebrate. 
but then of course that's an opinion guys so click this video right here you need to see this 2k24 video if you haven't yet because it the game's almost out and we have a lot of news so if you haven't seen this man you need to go check it out and i'm out peace